Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the linkage configuration on your lawnmower with a Tecumseh engine. And this will be an engine without a manual throttle control. So what I mean by no throttle control is that it's an engine when you start it up, it just basically regulates its own speed. Now this is the engine I'll be showing it to you on today. It's a 3.8 horsepower, 148 cc's. Now if you have a lawnmower with a different Tecumseh engine, it's more than likely going to be the same when it comes to the linkage configuration. So we're talking about the linkages for the carburetor today and the governor and here's where they are. Now to give you a better view of this I'm going to remove the air filter and the little breather tube over here. Now before I get started I'm just going to explain to you what the parts are. Obviously these are the linkages, the two arms over here. This is the carburetor, this is the carburetor throttle lever over here and back here is the governor arm. So what I'm going to do is start right at the carburetor and as you can see the linkage is in one of the holes here on the mechanism. Now when you take the carburetor off the lawnmower it's very important that when you put it back on that the linkage goes into the exact hole it was in. So if you take a close look you can see it's the far hole to the front of the engine. Now what I'm going to do is follow this linkage up to the governor arm. You can see it's in the hole on the top and there it's inserted in it like this where my pick is showing you. So it's really easy to remember. So now that you know exactly where this linkage goes, I'm going to move on to the other linkage. And as you can see, this one has a spring that is attached to a tab here on the side of the carburetor. Just like this. And now if we follow the spring, we can see it's inserted into the linkage in this little loop over here. And now let's follow the linkage to the governor arm. And here you can see it's inserted in the hole at the bottom. So here it is, I'm just going to give you a quick recap of the configuration. This one is in the far hole to the front of the carburetor. It goes to the linkage and hooks into the top hole. The second linkage is hooked up to the bottom hole, goes to the spring, and the spring is attached to the tab at the front of the carburetor. So bookmark this video, make sure to come back if ever you're not sure of how your linkages go back together.